In this show, I would like to describe a little trick that I described many years ago. Notice how I'm holding the syringe. In my lecturing internationally, I'm talking to colleagues constantly, and most colleagues will hold a syringe the same way as they'll hold an anesthetic syringe. Notice how my index finger and my thumb are on the two wings, which allow me to pull, and that would push irrigant through the cannula. Then I can push and vacuum irrigant out of the canal. Let's take a look at that in the maxillary first molar MB1, MB2 shape systems. Notice how when I replenish, I'm pulling on the little wings, which will dispense fresh reagent. Notice when I pull back, I can vacuum reagent out. So again, the pass comes in correctly. I'm pushing against the palm of my hand and pulling with the wings. So I will irrigate until the solution of the pulp chamber is clean. Then I can begin to vacuum and irrigate and vacuum and irrigate, getting solutions to rush over clean surfaces. Now this is very, very powerful. It has been reported in many documents in the peer-reviewed literature that we can only irrigate effectively about one or two millimeters apical to the cannula. In this plastic block around the recurvature, you can see the cannula is probably as much as five to six millimeters away from length. Notice how I can pull solution and debris right from the terminus right back up into the cannula. So we can effectively, using this trick, move reagents around curvatures five to six millimeters deeper than the actual level of placement of the cannula. In summary, we can take a 25 cent syringe that's been around for four decades. It is true we have different choices on the cannulas that will attach in a lure lock method to these syringes. And of course the syringes vary in their milliliter capacity. But the take home message is how you hold the syringe and how it's passed to you and how you dispense solutions. And if you can vacuum solutions, you can dramatically affect your ability to exchange reagents into all aspects of the root canal space for 25 cents.